This is Professor Murphy here at Weber State University. Today I was going to show you how to do a table in HTML. Now a table is just like you would do in Excel or in Word where you create the rows and columns type of thing. And we're going to start, we have a basic page set up and it's just a basic HTML tag. I do have a background color and a text color. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown you how to change the font style, but here I've changed the font family to Calibri. That way I don't have the standard Times Roman. So now I'm going to add a table underneath it. Uh, the basic tag for a table to start with is, as you guessed, yes, table. Now to start a new row, we're going to do a TR tag. That stands for table row. Now our table uh, header, um, this is a cell, a single cell in the table. Um, and all this is, is just a cell that's been formatted to be a header cell, or meaning it's bold and it's centered. Now I'm going to list, um, maybe just get a, a topic here. We're going to give our favorite food, and we're going to give another table header of, well, I don't know, what's another thing we can list? Um, color, uh, random things to, to do in this is Murphy's class. All right, now I'm going to do another row, but this time instead of a table header, I'm just going to put the date in. So favorite food, tacos. Then I'm going to do another favorite color. What's the favorite color? Um, there's another TD tag. Red. Okay, so that's a, our first row. I'm going to quickly copy and paste since I can and add in a second row and do pizza, uh, I don't know, burgers. And how come I can't think of food when I'm typing? I'm, I'm on the spot. This is stress, stressful. I shouldn't have done spaghetti. I don't know how to spell that one. You get the idea. And then we can change the colors, you know, blue and pink and red and orange and yellow. Okay, so here, just to show you what this looks like, our basic table, here it is. Our, our header cells have been bolded and they're centered. Um, each of the items are in their own cell, so tacos and red is on the first, on the second row, and there we have tacos and red. Now if we want to, we can add a border to our table, and we do that once again with our style. Now the types you can do, you have solid, dotted, these are all listed on the content page. Now if you notice, when we put that in, it only does a border around the table. What if we want each of the individual cells? Well, you can copy and paste that into each individual cell. But I wanted to show you another way of doing that. You can do a, a style up here on the top of the page that will stand for every single tag of that type on the page. So I'm going to do style type equals text. There it is, text slash CSS. Don't forget your closing style tag. Now here I'm going to do a table. And instead of putting my uh, border style there, I'm going to put it up here. There's my border style solid. Um, I'm going to do that for the TR, the, not TR, the TD tag. Let's just copy and paste that in so you can see all of these borders. And I'm also going to do that for the TH tag. So everything should now have a solid border. Now if I look at my table again, there is my solid border. I have a little gray one for my table, and then each of these have their own ones in there. Now the table has a really nice style called border collapse. So border collapse, what that does, if you set that to collapse, is it collapses all of those into one single table. There we go. So now you can format tables and create tables and stylize them. Good luck with the assignment.